tune in to recipes with a message y'all come on in come on in while i rinse off some of my veggies here just come on in while i rinse these veggies off i got a quick recipe and a morning boost for you an afternoon boost for you <laughs> while i rinse these off again y'all come on in Y'all come on in. I am going to be juicing this morning because the Spirit of the Lord told me on this morning to stay light. To stay light. And how many know when the Lord starts speaking, you best to obey. Hallelujah. And he told me to start light. I got up at 645 this morning with a praise in my belly. I went and picked up a new client from the bus station this morning and took him over to my halfway house. Hallelujah. And then the Lord put a word in my spirit for y'all. And I sat right there and drank my coffee and gave y'all that word on this morning. So now I'm in here. I'm going to feed my spirit what the Lord said. He said, stay light. And I'm going to give you a recipe on how to stay light, how to bring in breakfast and lunch and stay light in the morning, especially when you are someone like me and you've been diagnosed with diabetes and you need to stay healthy. You can't cram your body full of stuff and you want to fast too at the same time. So I'm going to show you how I fast now that I know I have to put something in my body to go along with my morning. So I am going to be doing this juice fast for you all to help y'all know what I feel, feel good feel good this is how i'm feeling good somebody asked me how are you losing weight well i am taking and implementing some things into my morning like this what i'm fixing to give you and that helps me to lose the weight hallelujah y'all hang tight i gotta go get my battery charged i did not realize my battery was low so hang tight send me lots of love send me lots and lots of love while i connect that take me but a minute to get us plugged up and charged up here. I didn't realize my battery was low. I'm so busy trying to talk to y'all this morning. I didn't realize to check my little stuff over here. Okay, let me plug us in. Make sure we won't go dead. Y'all send me lots of love. There we go. Now I got us plugged in. There we go. Now hopefully I won't go dead. So anyway, I have right here, I'm gonna give y'all this recipe real quick and I got a word I wanna give to y'all as well. I have a green apple, one green apple. I have a cucumber and I have some celery. I have some delicious kale, delicious kale. And I have a lime, uh-oh, a lime and a lemon. And this in a root, a piece of root of ginger. And this is how I start my morning and lunch when I'm fasting, when I am fasting. So let me uh, tell you, just tear off you about three celery stalks is what you would need. I like a lot of nutrients, so let's get all this kale. I'm gonna put it in my juicer. And then you need one whole cucumber. And I'm fixing to just cut the ends off, but do not cut the outside shell off because you need all the nutrients in this. You need all the nutrients in So I'm not going to peel it. I'm not going to peel it because I want all the goodness. Somebody say all of the goodness. Okay, now I got my celery chopped up. This is real quick, y'all. It's not long and drawn out. The apple is the sweetener that provides the sweetener. I got a Granny Smith green apple that helps sweeten this. The lime gives it that nice tart. And if y'all only understood all the benefits in the lime, it's so many good benefits in the lime. And a lemon. So we wanna get that in, you wanna get it in. So I'm peeling this lime right now. 
Y'all, I have to testify on today. I really have to testify on his goodness. I just got off this morning speaking to y'all about miracles and about God working it out. Hallelujah. Well, I got up this morning at 645 and went and picked my guy up from the bus station and got him settled and come to realize he needed a bed this morning. So I had to be out of $200 to get him a bed and the linens and all that stuff set up. And my ad, I did the same thing yesterday and I did it last week because, you know, I like to replace their beds and linens quite often as I can to make sure they got good stuff. So I've been buying mattresses and box springs and linens all week for the last two weeks, it seemed like, because I got three new guys in them and they needed those things. So I got up this morning needing my money to pay bills and I uh, just, like I had ministered to the people, I decided to trust God like I always have to come through for me and I went and purchased the mattress and box screen. So this week alone and last week, I've been out of close to $600 on mattresses and box springs. I got to testify right quick, y'all. I got to tell you of his goodness. So I begin to pull up at Super One grocery store to go in and get some food and stuff to help get them started and then get my breakfast here that y'all are looking at right now. Hallelujah. And so just as I pulled up, the Lord said, you have not because you ask not. Why don't you just write down your vision? Write down what you want and make it plain. And those who read it will run with it. Hallelujah. I'm going to get some right quick. So I said, Lord, I, I hadn't been on ask the people for something August the 4th. And I just don't want to ask the people. He said, I got some people out there to have my heart and have my mind. And they see what you're doing. I need you to obey me and just write it down and just trust me with it. Like you told the people on this morning, I need you to do the same thing for me this morning. Just like you testified to the people that I brought you out of $20,000 worth of debt. He said, I'm going to bring you out this morning. Hallelujah. So I owe some people some money and I told them on last night, I said, give me a little time and allow me to pray about it. Let the Lord work. And I said, you will get yours. I promise. Hallelujah. How many know you got to walk by faith and not by sight? Not what it looked like. You got to just trust the Lord. So then I obeyed the Lord and I wrote it down on my page. If you go to my page, you'll see where I'm asking for people that have the heart to give, to give into those mattresses and linens that I'm buying. Hallelujah. That I've already spent the money for. I asked the people to help me out a little bit so I can replace back what I spent out. Hallelujah. Y'all. I went in that grocery store and didn't know how the Lord was going to work it out for me. But I can rest assured and tell you this. The Lord has been working this morning. He told me to stay empty. See, I believe this. I believe when we keep our spirit empty of drama, of mess, of anything that can fill us up and contaminate our spirit, we make room for God to come in. Hallelujah. And we can hear the Lord tell us what to do in the time of trouble. See, sometimes we wait on the Lord to do a miracle and we wait on him to do it. But it is our hands. It was It's us that he works. We just got to obey him. He speaks to people. He speaks to us. We got to be in a position where we can hear him speak. Come on, somebody. So then I sat on the parking lot and I obeyed the Lord and wrote that post. And you go to my page, like I said, you will see it. I'm Delonda Williams Gore. And I wrote that post. And I want y'all to know that I went in that grocery store to get food for my halfway house and to get this stuff right here for me to juice. And when I came out the store, I heard my cash app go off. Hallelujah. And that was a lady that ordered a cake from me. Hallelujah. Miss Bernice. Miss Bernice, you don't know. You just sold into a miracle this morning. And I speak to you right now in your household right now that you are Increase and blessed because you bless me. So the woman bought the cake and I don't mind putting my hands to the labor to do what God said and to get the reward of what he's given me. Hallelujah. But then I was driving down the road and I got, ho I got home and my cash shop went off again. And I said, Lord, that's my cash app again. I don't, I, I don't have an idea where this is coming from. I said, but you did tell me that. Wouldn't it be something? On my way to the phone, I'm saying, wouldn't it be a miracle if somebody had sold $200? 
wouldn't it be a miracle because that would be putting back what I already spent out. And I want y'all to know, I looked at my cash out and a lady named Miss Linda, hallelujah, that's been following me for a while, hallelujah, that gave me those bell peppers and peppers the other day. She took the time out, y'all, to buy a mattress and the linens for my client this morning. So I was able to put it back. Hallelujah. I don't mind testifying. Here it is where I spent it this morning out, y'all. And I want y'all to know the Lord already gave it back. Somebody say he's a very present help in the time of trouble. Hallelujah. He will not leave you or forsake you. Hallelujah. He will speak to the heart of man to sow into what you are doing. Y'all, I have almost 10 guys in my shelter right now and two more on the way and my shelter will be full but how many know I give people a chance sometimes they don't have money so I receive them in on nothing but I trust God for my something and I want to tell somebody if you got a vision he is the provision in your vision hallelujah don't think it's going to come from you you got to trust God he is the provision for your vision hallelujah all you got to do is be found faithful doing the vision all you got to do is found faithful, loving on people and God will give you what you need. Hallelujah. I believe this. I believe I'm good ground. Hi, hey, say, Katie, old quarter who say. And I believe, Miss Linda, you sowing into me. God going to bless you in whatever way you need. Miss Bernie's, you being obedient, ordering that cake for me this morning. God is going to bless you in whatever you need. Because I know I'm good ground. Hallelujah. And good ground will yield you a harvest in whatever you need. See, some people don't need money. They need a blessing. They need a healing. They need a breakthrough in their marriage. They need a breakthrough with their children. They don't just need money. Hallelujah. And I believe when you put a seed into good ground, God will bless you. Now, because of you, Miss Linda, and because of you, Miss Bernice, I was able to pay for this mattress. I was able to get some sheets and pillows and linens, Miss Bernie, because of your sewing on today. Somebody gonna lay their head on your obedience this morning. Oh, hey, see it in the Ashia. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody gonna lay their head on your act of obedience. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, he that give it to the poor, lend it to God. Hallelujah. I don't know about nobody else, but if you give to the poor and you lend to God, you are a shop right now. Hallelujah. Because God will repay you. Hallelujah. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm full this morning. I'm full because I'm empty. I'm full because I'm empty. I'm full of the Holy Spirit because he told me to stay empty. Ha, 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 ha. Somebody need to receive that on today. Hallelujah. Somebody need to receive it on today. Hallelujah. Woo, hey, say. Woo, hey, see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God, y'all. When I tell you God is good, God is good. When I tell you God is faithful, God is faithful. Hallelujah. Get your trust, get your mind and your eyes off of man. If man do anything for you, it's because they are obeying God. Hallelujah. He is the source from which all blessings flow. Hallelujah. I say God is. I say God is the source from which all blessings flow. And don't you forget it. Ha, 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 I say. Woo-hoo-hoo, say. I'm finna juice this, y'all. Because I got to get out of here and I got to do myself a Holy Ghost dance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me wash my hands again. Hallelujah. Let me try to dry these tears up again. Hallelujah, y'all. I'm empty. I'm empty. Hallelujah. Who say hallelujah? Now, I'm going to get ready here to get my composure together and juice this for y'all. Hallelujah. Now, I am going to juice us some goodness right quick. Hallelujah. Okay. Okay, the first thing I'm going to start out with is me some cucumbers. I'm going to drop that off in here. I know y'all shout because I'm about to shout. I know y'all rejoicing with me. I'm rejoicing. Hallelujah. Put that cucumber down out in there. And let's juice that cucumber. Hallelujah. 
Get that cucumber on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All I can say is hallelujah. Okay, y'all, I'm going to put this uh, celery in the juicer. I'm going to drop this ginger off in there. I leave the whole chili and everything on there because I want all of this meat in it. I want all of this meat in it. So, drop that celery in there. Now I'm dropping my apple slices in there, you guys. Hallelujah. Let me make sure uh let me make sure my battery is charging because it's, it's turned dim on me. And make sure I'm charging y'all so we don't get cut off. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody give God a shout. There we go. It wasn't charging, so I caught it right on time. Thank you, Jesus. Look at it. Look at God. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And that ginger is stuck somewhere down in the bottom with those apples. And so we're going to put two more apples in there. We're going to push that down. Now I'm going to juice my lime. I did peel the lime because I don't want it real strong where I can't and bitter where I can't drink it. So we're going to put that lime off in there. Now I'm putting my lemons in there. And I peel my lemons as well. Woo! Come up out of there, y'all. Now I just juice my lemon. And last but not least, let's do some kale. Let's do some kale. This, that kale is where I really get that green in, y'all. So I cut my little kale up like this. And I'm going to bunch it up and put it off in this. You can use the stem and all because you are juicing and it's all natural. Make sure you rinse your vegetables real good. I'm going to put it off in here. Make sure you rinse these vegetables real good. Make sure they clean thoroughly. Of all the pesticides and anything that they might put on there, you know, while they're keeping this stuff fresh. Y'all don't see it, but it's a lot of green goodness coming out right now. Takes a minute to get all that kale mixed up because it is a strong, tough veggie. But it's going to go down here in a minute. Little by little, green juice is coming out. That's what we want that green from that kale. Almost there. Almost there, y'all. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Okay, it's almost there, you guys. Let's see here what we got. I'm going to put my last stem of celery in there and wash that green stuff all down. See, that's what's going to help that kale come out. Put a little thinner vegetable in there. And that helps the kale come on out, y'all. I'm going to turn it off for a minute and I'm going to get me a uh, another apple. Now praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Somebody give the Lord praise. I'm rinsing me another apple off, you guys, because I want it to be uh, the right balance. And I'll give y'all the recipe and a picture when I get offline. You'll see this. And y'all, this is the best thing you can do for your body. This is the best thing you can do for your body early in the morning <laughs> or in the afternoon. Or especially when you want to fast and you have some health things and you want to fast for a couple of hours or about four to six hours in the morning. This is healthy for you. This is the healthy way to go. Okay, I'm going to put some more apples in here, you guys. Woo! The apple is your sweetener. You don't need no sugar or anything. Let the apple be your natural sweetener. Okay, I'm going to 
I'm going to get a tail that I have left. And the apple that I have left to push it down. Some people take the foam off the top, but I like to leave the foam on because the foam has the nutrients in it, you guys. See that? That's what I call my green machine, and it gets me going. So I'm going to stir that foam up in there and let the, all that nutrients kick in. And y'all... The best breakfast ever. If you want to feel good, do this at least three times a week for your breakfast and your lunch. Hallelujah. If you want to feel a good burst of energy, pray and do this. And start your morning out like this. Hallelujah. I tell y'all right now, I'm empty. Hallelujah. Just like the Lord told me. He said, stay light. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is what I call, Amy, this is what I call my green, mean green. My mean green. This is kale, lime, lemon, green apple, cucumber, and celery. And ginger. Y'all, that ginger is so good. And that lime adds a tartness to this that's, oh, I can't even explain it. So good. I wish I could give y'all some. I wish y'all could come and drink a glass with me. I'm going to post the picture. I'm going to post this recipe up so that y'all will have it. And I thank y'all so much for tuning in. I thank y'all so much for rejoicing with me. And again, I want to say thank you to Miss Linda for obeying God this morning and purchasing mattresses. I want to thank you, Miss Bernice, for obeying God and purchasing a cake for me, which allowed me to be able to get the linens for this new man that came in. Listen, my post is still up. And if anybody want to sew, you may not have $200. You may not even have $20. But whatever you have, I promise you, it's going toward a good cause. I have been doing outreach ministry in Longview, Texas for over 20 years now. July 19th will make 21 years of ministry in Longview, housing people that are homeless. Go to my page, take a look at some of my pictures, feeding people, clothing people, ministering to people. Now the Lord has blessed me to stand before you on my own cooking show. All that cooking for my homeless shelter all those years. And then God sets me in a place where I can do what I love doing and enjoy doing before millions, before thousands of people. And then these thousands of people hearken to the anointing in my voice. And, and are being blessed all around the world. I can't tell you how many testimonies I get where they're telling me, Miss Galanda, that word you gave on this morning saved my life. I was at the brink of suicide and I was looking for food, trying to just pull myself out and I came up on you. See y'all, when you obey God, a lot of people are attached to you for you to bring out Ha hey say Katie or oh, say it's time out for being about self. You will find God in that place of obedience and help. See, I have no doubt that the people that are sowing into me and helping me do this. See, you became a part, or you become a part of ministry with me. And I have no doubt that whatever you have need of, whatever it is, God will bless you. Miss Jen, thank you because you are a faithful sower. Miss Deborah, thank you because you are a faithful sower. Miss Melody, thank you. You are a faithful sower. Miss Scarlett, thank you. You are a faithful sower. And there's so many more, and I don't want to forget nobody, but I see some of y'all online right now. And I just want to say thank you. And I want to say thank you to everybody that has bought something from me, gave to me, sent me a prayer, a loving word of encouragement. And keep them testimonies coming. Keep those testimonies coming in because they encourage me. When I give a word of knowledge, 
When I give a word of prophecy, there's not one time that I've ever given it on this air that the person wasn't fair in the, in the comments saying, that's me. There wasn't a time that somebody wasn't viewing the video and saying, hey, you speaking directly to me. Because when you stay empty, you allow God to fill you with his goodness. And I have no doubt that that's why the Lord said, stay light today. Because I put a word in your belly for the people. If you missed it this morning, go and look at it. It's, it's up by two hours ago. And I hope this word bless you too. Because you get to witness the miracle. I was speaking this morning about his goodness and about trusting God. Hallelujah. About he is the burden barrier. Hallelujah. Oh, hey, say, can it is, she can say. So I know. That in the midst of me speaking, and the Lord said, go do what you got to do and take care of your clients. I got your back. You told the people I'm with you. You told the people that I'm with them. I'm before them, with them, and behind them. Hey, I'm the same for you today. Hallelujah. So glory be to God. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm going to drink my juice. Hallelujah. Do it again. Maybe one more time today. Get me filled up with all that nutrients. Stay light because it feels good to stay light. Somebody need to fast right now. Under the sound of my voice, the Lord has been speaking to you and telling you that you need to fast. Who is that? Because I'm hearing it right now. The Lord has been telling you that you need to fast. And you've been oh, not having time for it. But I'm going to tell you something. There's going to be a miracle. There's going to be a miracle in the midst of you fasting. Hallelujah. That's for somebody, directly for somebody that the Lord has been speaking to about fasting. Ha he say, Katie O Kuru say. Look at that. Look at the Lord, y'all. Hallelujah. Look at the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Look at the Lord. See, the Lord be telling us what to do to come out. But we're not willing sometimes to make the sacrifice. We want the miracle, but we don't want to make the sacrifice. Hallelujah. But obedience is better than sacrifice, y'all. Hallelujah. When God speaks to you and tells you to pray, when God speaks to you and tells you to fast, hallelujah. If you obey, it won't even be long. Hallelujah. If you obey God, it won't even be long. You don't have to fast all day. Just obey God. He'll give you what you need in your obedience, and then you can go back to eating. Be willing to sacrifice for what you want. Be willing to sacrifice for your children. Be willing to sacrifice for your business. Hey, hey, say, 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 there's a woman right now, you're an entrepreneur. Hallelujah. God said, be willing to sacrifice for your business. Write the vision and make it plain. Hallelujah. Up on table so those that read it will run with it. You need to make your vision clear. Hallelujah. So that people will run with it. Hallelujah. If y'all tune in this evening, I'll be sitting down for those of you that want to know more about my outreach and what I do, who I house. If you have a loved one in prison and you're looking for a place for your loved one to go, you can sit down and listen to me this evening. I will be giving you a talk on what I do. I'm going to be answering some Q&A questions for y'all. And that's on my outreach. And you'll find me on my outreach page, not on good old soul food recipes. So be looking at my page today around 6 o'clock and I will sit down with you and tell you what I actually do in my outreach restoration program. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed on the day. Send me love on the way out. Hallelujah. Just send me love on the way out. Hallelujah. Miss Holiday, I am talking to so many. The Holy Spirit is speaking and telling us to fast. Hallelujah. Y'all know if the world were to go on a fast and a prayer, all this drama would race, all this fighting and stuff would stop. If the world would call a 21-day fast for 12 hours in a day and the world commits to that for 21 days on the 22nd day, hey, hey, say, Katie, old Kuru, say, the drama, the trauma will all be subsided. We keep saying out of our mouth, Lord, help us, but we're not willing to sacrifice. But if you sacrifice, 
Hallelujah. God is looking at you as an individual. Maybe the whole world won't join you. But if you fast for 21 days and you pray for 21 days, hallelujah, there's going to be a miracle in your community. There's going to be a miracle in your house. Hallelujah, Jesus. Who he say? Hallelujah, y'all. I thought I was finished. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we're not going to rush the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to walk in humility. Who he say? I come against the spirit of pride now in the name of Jesus. I come against the spirit of retaliation now in the name of Jesus. The Lord said, vengeance is he is, he shall repay. All this out here burning up buildings and tearing down your community, God said, I'm not in that. He is a restorer. Hallelujah. He said, I want to bring restoration to your land. How dare you tear your land down when I am going to restore your land. Hallelujah. Some of you that have put your hands to negativity and your feet have been walking the streets creating discord. Our God is saying to you right now, you go to your streets and I want to see you clean it up. I want to see you go back and clean up the land. You that have polluted the land and added Discord in the land and division in the land. God is calling you higher. He is saying you go back out there and you replenish. Hallelujah. What you have tore down. Hallelujah. You saw into what you have destroyed. Because it wasn't yours to destroy. Hallelujah. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's. The world is the Lord and the fullness thereof. It all belongs to him. So deeper than you thinking you turned down this woman's business to this man's business, you touching God's stuff. You are touching God's stuff. Hallelujah. There's a space and there's room in here. Hallelujah. Speak Holy Spirit for you to go make it right. And God wants our tongue to show forth love and kindness. Hallelujah. If he said, if, if I draw me in by love and kindness, you got to operate in the same field as me. Oh, ho, 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 say, K-N-A-S-H-K, say, I hear the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all send me love on the way out. We praise you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. He's a good father. God is a good father. I just want to tell somebody, he's a good father. Who he say, Kitty, that is she? He will provide all of your needs according to his riches and glory. Hey, hey, say, Kitty, old crew say, God is not afraid of your bills. Hallelujah. God is not afraid of your circumstances. Hallelujah. He is the way and the way maker. Don't you forget it. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory. Oh, glory. We thank you, Lord. Somebody just tell the Lord, thank you. Go on, thank him in advance for the miracle. Go on, thank him in advance for the breakthrough. We thank you, Lord, for your miracles. We thank you, Lord, for the breakthrough. We thank you, Lord, for calling us on a fast, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for destroying the wickedness in the midst of our fast. Hi, say, Katie, old Koro, say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all be blessed. I love y'all. I love y'all. Be blessed.